People who lived in D.C. During the January 6th attack on the Capitol, they remember that day well. They certainly do. Our political and government reporter, Leonard Ann Fleming, spoke with several who were just blocks away from all that chaos. And Leonard, what'd they tell you tonight? Well, Chris and Tasmin, they are saying a lot. And quite frankly, it is a day that when I spoke to these people, that it's a day they'd rather forget. But quite frankly, they can't. I was pretty, pretty shocked. The violence shocked me. Wayne Griffin, a D.C. tour guide, lives near the Capitol. He was at home that day, he says. The, the Capitol Police, they were trying to keep order, and just people just seemed to be wanting to be violent. With former President Donald Trump's criminal arraignment on charges he incited a riot at the Capitol, people who live nearby recall living through, in real time, what the rest of the world watched on TV. There was a big crowd, of course. Brian Biles usually walks his dog, Lizzie. He didn't that fateful day. Living in D.C. for decades, Biles is used to big events, but not January 6th. Trump's just an outlier, and therefore anything he might do <laughs> and has done is not a surprise, I guess. I hope he's going to jail. Kunia Daria Reef was working at Pete's Diner just a few blocks from the Capitol. This one is from Trump supporter. Arif says Trump protesters came to use the bathroom to wash their eyes from pepper spray that day. They brought us uh, here and then uh, live it here. Janice Brock was watching the coverage of Trump's speech from her home blocks from the Capitol. They were going up the stairs. And the first thing I went was, oh, my God, oh, my God. No man is above the law. And if, if he's, he's innocent and to prove him guilty, but if the evidence is there, then basically you have to convict. Many of the people I spoke to today believe the former president deserves his day in court, but they want him held accountable for the actions that happened more than two years ago on the Capitol behind me. Reporting from the U.S. Capitol, Leonard and Fleming, D.C. News Now, back to you.